Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. So as you guys probably see, there's a little bit of different setup. Um, there's a different camera I'm using right now. All my gear went to Nikon for uh, pretty much the annual inspection. I had some issues with my um, Nikon, so I had to send them off. But still, I would like to do the vlog. So I'm using my point and shoot camera. So I'm guessing the sound will be a little bit worse. And um, you guys see there's a different lens. So there's completely, um, you know, different setup but I hope um, you know you guys forgive me this and um, yeah I'll try to do my best to to put the best quality as possible so before I jump into my vlog I would like to say a couple things first of all um, I would like to invite everybody who is interested to participate in one of my workshops there is one in Calgary there will be one in Raleigh North Carolina I'm going back there I got invited again so I'm super excited and there will be one um, workshop in Ireland um, in November I will basically link all the information down below so you guys can check um, and if you guys are interested and you guys have any questions please feel free to um, contact me and I'll be more than happy to answer all your concerns so today's vlog um, I would like to dedicate it and talk about couple of things which in my opinion are extremely important and I'm getting a lot of lot of email, emails recently from a lot of um, headshot photographers who starting off their career you know they want to make I would say you know quick progress and they asking me about you know tips and advice and I would like to kind of do a vlog what is the most and I pick 10 the most common mistakes um, you know beginner headshot photographers are doing and I have went through that process I've done the same mistakes and I would like to kind of list them for you guys so maybe that gives you a little bit of um, I would say broader um, perspective on what to focus on and you know what to kind of get caught up with and um, yeah I'm, I'm hoping this 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 vlog will definitely help you out to I would say sort it out some of those issues you guys dealing with so there's 10 of them and I'm gonna go through them one by one so the number one mistake I found and this is something what I've been I would say addressing on many different platforms occasions I've been repeating myself million million times but I want to kind of say that again very loudly and I hope you guys not gonna be upset about this so we are focusing way too much on the gear and I'm not gonna you know brag about it um, you guys know what I'm talking about I think you know the gear is important and I, I you know you cannot shoot without the gear but I think we're wasting way too much time on analyzing you know which camera is better or which speed light is better or which stroke do I need to get and I think you know I know everything comes down also to price so you know whenever we have to spend money we want to actually pay um, you know I would say the, the cheapest possible way but get you know the good quality equipment which we can use uh, but at the same time the one thing what I would recommend focus mostly on you know one thing which in my opinion is extremely important is the lens this is one item which I would definitely put some attention to uh, because that's what makes your you know shots the way they look um, rest of it you know I'm not saying it's again not not important but don't you know kind of waste weeks or months or even years sometimes to you know waiting for the next thing and waiting for the next um, you know I would say item which gonna make your photography better you know this is not the case don't do that get whatever you can you know buy whatever you can afford and you know get shooting because that's what's gonna make you I would say better photographer so what is number two the number two we are focusing way too much again on the technical part of um, you know shooting and this is the most common questions whenever I post image or headshot um, you know I'm getting bombarded by so many photographers asking me about you know um, settings and you know this is really tricky because every place and every location every time you shoot somewhere you know you have to approach this thing individually I cannot tell you or even if I tell you certain settings you cannot really apply them to you know some other specific place because it's simply not gonna work 
and you know just because you know this kind of recipe and you know the settings you know you're gonna be confused nothing's gonna work and then it's gonna make your life like a living hell because you know it's it's simply it's not gonna work and a lot of people have to understand that that you have to have this some kind of like general idea what you're going after what's the setting supposed to be but then you have to kind of adjust them um you know to the locations you are in to um you know the equipment you have to abilities for example like if you're shooting in a small room um you know you have to make some other adjustments so try to kind of don't take those you know settings what I'm telling you as a you know like you have to use them because that's what you're gonna get this is not true and I've been again repeating myself million times and I noticed that if I'm not gonna even answer people getting upset that I, I don't want to tell them and you know I don't want to reveal you know everyone who's following following my work you guys basically know um, what most of the settings they look like um, but you know again there's 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 a Lot of lot of different factors which you have to apply to make sure this whole thing is gonna work so number three is pretty much we don't shoot enough this is something what I, I straight very strongly recommend you know get everyone or you know whoever you can at the front of your, of your camera and start shooting because you know this is the only way to learn to actually get the knowledge to understand you know some of the issues you might run into and how to fix them this is the best way to learn and again you can you can watch million videos you can you know go to million workshops you can you can gain all the knowledge on this planet but there's no way you're gonna progress if you're not gonna be shooting and you know usually what I'm recommending is you know try to have at least one photo shoot a week this is just a bare minimum and you know if you are starting off get the neighbors get the friends get your kids get your wife husband whoever you can at the front of your camera and keep shooting because you will see um, you know you will start to really quickly progressing and you will see results in your work okay so number four so number four I think you know and it's gonna be kind of continuous what I was saying about um, the settings you know we are focusing way too much as I said on the gear and we are focusing way too much on settings uh, but then other mistakes what I've noticed um, a lot of people don't focus too much on um, you know face expressions this is something which we as a headshot photographers we really need to study we really need to understand we really need to kind of know how to approach different individuals to pull pull out some interesting face expressions and you know again I'm repeating myself and you know you can have the best lighting you can have the best equipment you can have you know all the stuff you know put together but if you don't have interesting and you know kind of um, exciting and engaging face expressions then basically you know the image is a garbage and and there's I'm not saying it's not useful it's gonna look um, kind of cool from the technical perspective but there will be no something more there will be no this kind of wow factor as I said so try to you know study those things as much as you can um, in my previous um, vlogs I recommended certain books I recommended certain videos um, you know put some time and attention to face expressions because again this is gonna really change the game and then you will see much better results in your work and you know also your clients or people you will shooting um, they're gonna kind of see there is you know something way more into those images just you know the um, just a beautiful photo without like you know any connections or anything Think which is kind of bringing their their attention to the image okay number five so number five is we're not trying to do things differently so um, again I've been talking about this before but you know the one thing also to progress and you know try to learn something you have to you know go into kind of unknown territory you have to try things which you know you kind of don't know how to do it you have to try different backgrounds you have to try different lighting you know try to you know change things all the time because I know um, a lot of photographers nowadays you know when you get this kind of comfortable 
I would say place where you can simply shoot and you everything works all the time then you become kind of like you know you're getting into this plateau effect where you know your works become the same um, there's nothing more interesting and then you know I, I know from my perspective that I like to shoot where I know what I'm doing and I know that I'm gonna get, a, get good results but that's not the case in order to progress in photography and in order to learn something new and in order to tr create something you know unique and different you have to really push um, you know you have to push the boundaries and you have to try things which you never have tried before because this is the only way to you know kind of um, you know do something spectacular and something where people are gonna be um, you know interested in because you know the same thing when you're doing over and over and over again um, it's getting boring and then you know you basically you know stuck with this for years and then you know your work kind of goes nowhere okay number six so number six um, you know Again, this is something which I highly recommend. Um, try to collaborate with, you know, other um, people. Um, this is something which also, you know, kind of brings your work to another level. So, and what I'm talking about is, you know, fashion stylists who try to work with different makeup artists, try to work with, you know, different models, females, males, and try to, you know, Try to share your experience with other people. I found, you know, even working with, you know, different uh, makeup artists, you know, you learn something new. They teach you something interesting, you know, which you can definitely apply into your work. So don't kind of get stuck with, you know, um, yourself and, you know, don't kind of try to work you know on your own which you know from one hand I found is important but from the other hand you know in order to you know open up and you know create new connections and and and, and learn new things you have to work with other people and it's not difficult you know you can make a post on on social media you can ask people to come in and join you and I'm sure you know like there's a lot of lot of people who are so interested to work with others and you know I'm not saying you know like you have to do it for free or whatever I know this is another discussion um, but try to kind of get um, you know a group of people who you can definitely share your um, you know experiences you can share your knowledge you know share uh, everything what you do and you know kind of exchange those informations because you know you, we're learning from each other you know like I, I've noticed that on so many different occasions that you know I've met someone new I work with them and then you know they they, they they taught me something interesting and I'm like oh my god why I didn't figure this out for so many years so that's another important factor you know whenever you're starting off to try to collaborate with other people number seven so this is something which I'm gonna go fairly quick but I'm gonna try to make a really strong statement um, a lot of photographers nowadays especially when you're starting off they don't try to learn how to retouch their images um, and I know we're living in the world where everyone wants to do things quickly efficiently and you know retouching is one of those things that most of people think that you know with one click of the button you know the image is going to be retouched um, uh, this is not true and it's never going to be the truth and and I think you have to you know kind of realize that in order you to become good photographer you have to learn how to retouch and um, the one another comment I would like to make here is retouching also helps you to understand lighting and understand photography from completely different perspective um, I've been again talking about this for so many many times but whenever you get into photography make sure that you actually dedicated the same amount of time when you dedicated for shooting and you know all this cool stuff you dedicated for retouching um, there's so many amazing courses out there there's there's so many informations it's not as difficult it just takes time practice commitment and and you have to dedicate this time so if you think that you know you become good photographer or professional photographer or successful photographer without retouching um, this is not going to happen and I'm going to be honest about this and I'm going to tell you the truth that you know what you have to um, you know get into this as quick as possible and you know because retouching you know as as 
from one hand it's not as difficult but it takes a lot of lot of time to practice and and, and you know get good at it so as soon as you, you start it as soon as you get on it as soon as you you kind of start feeling how this whole thing works the better for you and you will see your photography definitely kind of gets better with the time so number nine so now I want to talk a little bit about sharing um, our work this is extremely important in my opinion and I know we are living in um, I would say in the world where you know we kind of scared of putting some of this stuff out there because we are afraid of you know being criticized or you know people going after us and laughing at us and all this stuff but I deeply believe that you know also in order to progress in order to learn in order to um, you know get you know get kind of progress in our work we need to get the feedback from other photographers and then you know I always aim to you know get the feedback for people from people who actually know what they are talking about and listen to them because you know they can look at your images from I'll say completely different perspective and they can give you very very um, you know like an interesting feedback would definitely can take you to the next level um, you know I wouldn't listen too much to all those people who you know just trying to kind of destroy your uh, name or reputation or they're laughing at you or they try to kind of play the smarty pants because you know they think they know what they're talking about I'm not talking about those people and and I would simply ignore them but um, you know again you have to share your work to you know kind of get what people think about it because even sometimes you know we're getting kind of you know our images kind of break down to pieces and you know people try to pick everything what they can um, but you know we have to somehow absorb those informations try to may not taking them personally and don't get kind of like upset oh i'm bad i don't know what i'm doing and all this stuff try to listen and try to kind of maybe incorporate some of those comments into your you know future photo shoots and try to improve what we can do to do this better you know um you know i remember back in the days that i don't want to kind of drag about this for for a lot of time but you know I remember, you know, when I started and, you know, my, my images were like literally people are laughing at them and, and you know, but um, there's few people who really knew how to, you know, give me the positive feedback and, you know, where I should focus on what, where I should pay attention, you know, what, you know, things I should change or adjust or look after to, to make those images and I was trying to filter those informations and try to kind of um, you know learn from it because again those guys who know what they're doing and they are even willing to give you a feedback you know those are the guys who really will take you and elevate you to to the next level um, and again you know unfortunately it's hard nowadays because out of all this crazy comments and then you know those people who you know they not gonna um, I would say support you or you know kind of give you the positive feedback uh, we have to somehow find those informations filter them and and see you know what we can do to improve so don't be afraid to share your work um, doesn't matter what people are gonna say you know you know where you're going you know what you want to achieve you know what kind of images you want to create but again that takes time and it's important so other people will look at them and, and give you that kind of path how to get there okay so number 10 and this is the last one and this is I would say again one of the most important ones and um, you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna go I'm gonna go straight to the point we're not patient enough um, this is something which I've been experiencing with with a lot of my students I've been experiencing with um, a lot of my you know audience people want to make a progress right away you know you you buy the camera um, you do some workshop you watch some videos on Friday and um, you know on Monday you want to shoot like the pro you know this is again it's not gonna happen um, you have to understand that those things takes time and you know the more work you're gonna put into it the more uh, practice you're gonna do the more retouching you're gonna actually try to you know achieve and learn and you know kind of make a progress the quicker you learn um, 
I know photographers who, you know, after a couple of years or a year, they're phenomenal. Um, and I've been doing this for 15 years and I still have way long to go. And I think, you know what, um, I could change my path a little bit. I know I could learn some of those things quicker. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was stubborn. I, I, I was at some point, you know, I, I, I thought I know everything, which was completely big BS and then you know I, I see this right now and I'm, I'm, I'm openly want to admit this that you know we have to kind of put our ego in the backpack and you know kind of submit ourselves that you know we don't know everything we need to learn we have to listen um, and we have to be patient patience patience and patience you know this is the only way to progress I know with a lot of people, there's a lot of excitement at the beginning. There is uh, a lot of, you know, like, oh, I want to get to that level um, right away. But, you know, unfortunately, you know, those people who are patients, those are the successful ones because they know, they know their goal. You know, they, 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 they see where they're going. Um, you know, they see, I would say, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but the path is, 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 is not easy. It's a difficult, it's, it's steep. Uh, there's a lot of things along the way. There will be people kind of throwing you a lot of things under your, feet uh, they're gonna throw you under the bus you know you're gonna go through like literally hell till you get to the point where you want to be so the one thing which can rescue from this is patience um, and basically you know seeing where you're going okay I hope that was interesting um, you know again I'm sorry that a lot of people um, you know they're upset that I'm talking too much but you know it's kind of difficult for me to express myself in two minutes or three minutes and just tell you so I hope those tips and advice helps you I hope that um, you know you take some some of this you know to your heart and if you can apply even 20% out of this, out of this what I have said to your to to your workflow to your career i can assure you that you know you will progress i've been there i've done it and i'm still learning and i'm still trying to kind of work on some of those things myself so um again you know like make sure that um you know at least try to do some of those things so thank you for watching i hope the next i'm gonna try to do more vlogs right now um my equipment is coming back this week sometime so i'm gonna try to really push this harder um to give you more and more information and then share some of my experiences with you guys some behind the scenes stuff so stay tuned thank you for watching and um, wishing you guys fantastic um, week we have a winter in calgary it's snowing like hell i'll show you in a second it's just brutal um, but you know i want to keep my spirit um, exciting and, and happy so again thank you for watching stay tuned and i'll chat with you guys very soon bye bye